Hello to you. I hope all is wonderfully well with you over this Easter period. Happy Easter to you. It is a really important time to connect with yourself and also to connect with nature. I know right now there's a lot of things going on and maybe you're living in heightened fear. Maybe you're living in isolation. Maybe you're living in separation. Maybe you're living in anxiety and, and pressure and depression and stress. Well, know that all of this is feelings and your feelings can change and you can change your feelings by changing your body language, by changing your focus and also by changing your language. And over the next course of the next few weeks, I'm going to be sharing with you different ways in which you can feel wonderfully well within yourself and the environment that you are currently living in. It's really important for you today to breathe. To breathe. Now I'm going to over exaggerate it for, for you at home watching this, uh, just for you to really see what I'm doing. So, breathe in, th breathe in through your nose, and out through your nose. This will uh, really help you to anchor yourself, to ground yourself, to root yourself today and to become more aware and to heighten your senses. A lot of people are tuning in to things that are of fear based. They're making themselves feel more fear because they're consuming too much media, too much social media, too much news. What I love to consume is nature, is to get out into nature. So today, get out and into nature is really, really important. And I'd advise you to get into nature as much as possible today and every day. So wherever you are, even if it's going out into your back garden or going out into your front lawn, uh, wherever you are, or maybe you have a forest, maybe you have somewhere really remote. We have Loch Ness here and we can go out and we can listen to the birds that are singing in harmony for us. And we can also ground ourselves through, you know, going into woods and forests. Uh, one of the best things I would suggest you to do as well during this time, I know a lot of people can't hug their loved ones and can't hug other people. Well, you can hug yourself, or the people that are in your household, you can hug yourself, give yourself a big hug, and feel that as well. Feel that warmth, feel that connection with yourself. Give yourself a pat on the back, all right? But also, you can connect with things that are living. And I'm not just talking about humans, I'm talking about things in nature that are alive. Just for example, this beautiful, wonderful tree here. I'm gonna call this tree Bob. And Bob needs a hug, okay? Just like me, all right? Me and Bob are hugging a bit out here because we're connecting. It's really important to connect. This is a living, living creature. This is a tree and it's living, it's live right now. And to connect with something that's living is so, so powerful. Now, years ago, years and years ago, uh, this is what everybody used to do. They used to go out into nature. They used to take off their shoes. I'm just gonna actually do that now, in fact. So put the camera down, Ethan. My wee sister's holding the camera right now. She's a camera woman. Years ago, people used to get out into nature and, and ground themselves, grind their feet into nature. And they used to hug trees. But then it was demonized and people were saying, don't do that, that's crazy. Well, sometimes things that are crazy are good for you. And I have to say, hugging that tree today was very powerful. It's got me grounded, it's got me centered, and it's also helped me to awaken even more. This time is a fantastic time to awaken and to become your true nature. To not deny yourself of living, of developing, of growing and also to connect with what is around you. Eliminate the distractions and take action and get out into nature. I hope you've enjoyed this video. There's gonna be more content, more videos coming up. Remember, just to go over the key, po key points of this video, breathe, nasal breathing, listen, look around you, connect with something that's living, Take your shoes off as well. Take your socks off and grind yourself into the earth because you're part of the earth and you're part of this universe. Remember in Latin, universe means one, verse means song. Universe, one song. It's time to sing together in harmony. See you soon.